Welcome to Ontotext Pharma Insights Demo. In this video we will demonstrate how using Pharma Insights, we can build comprehensive dashboards, which describe in details a particular category of information. Drug dashboards mash up information from many different sources and represent it with interactive visualization widgets. One of the most important parts of Pharma Insights is the drug dashboard, which integrates information from many public drug data sources like Drug Bank and Drugs at FDA with clinical study data from clinicaltrials.gov and drug product brochures from Daily Med. Due to the vast amount of information the data is grouped into several different tabs, as the most important and descriptive categories are shown in Summary tab. The other tabs are called simply drug, clinical, and product, because they organize the data in different perspectives. In the case of Somaterol, the summary section of drug dashboard displays the type of the drug, the indications for which the drug was developed, mechanism of action which describes the exact molecular processes that the drug influence, and the pharmacodynamics of the drug. These properties describe briefly, but completely the drug. The clinical studies section is located just below the section with brief drug info. The clinical study map represents a current snapshot of all completed or currently running clinical studies. It provides an overview of the geographic distribution that could be used to identify the different covered populations of patients participated in these clinical trials. The color coding legend provides information on the number of clinical trials per each country. Below the geographic map, the drug dashboard provides a series of pie charts that show the distribution of the clinical trials per the study status, study phase, study type, and whether or not the study provides the raw study results data. The next important section is safety. The section summarizes all currently reported adverse events. The reported adverse events could be filtered by study condition, study purpose, type of the endpoint, or study phase. Selection of a filter value will refresh both the values in the other filters and also the list of the reported adverse events. Let's filter by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in study condition. As you can see, the adverse reactions list got updated as some of the events are not reported for this condition. The list of filter values were also updated and now represent only studies with condition chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It seems that for this drug and condition, there are only studies with safety and efficacy endpoints and phase 3 or phase 4 studies. For each of the reported adverse events in the list is displayed the absolute percentage of the total study population in which this adverse reaction was observed. Now, let's explore the drug details. Drug tab loads all the information available for Somaterol as the top placed categories describe the drug in general, like official name, type of the molecule, short description, structural formula, and multiple identifiers to external databases and nomenclatures. An important category is the related targets, which links to the corresponding molecular targets affected by the drug. For Somaterol this is beta-2 adrenergic receptor. All drug knowledge categories are grouped into sections of more closely related properties, like drug identification, Pharmacology Experimental Properties Predicted Properties References Interactions Interaction section lists potential drug-drug interactions that should be avoided in prescription drugs.
The section also lists potential drug-to-food interactions if such are already identified. All the clinical study-related information is aggregated in Clinical tab. Some of the widgets displayed in the Clinical tab, like Geographic Distribution, the Pie Chart widgets, and the graphical representation of the adverse events, were already displayed in the Summary tab. Now let's explore the timeline of the reported adverse events. This widget shows a quantitative distribution of the different categories of adverse events in time. The different groups of adverse reactions could be easily switched off from the widget. Thus we can leave only the most significant signals. All completed or currently running clinical trials are grouped by condition, study type and endpoint classification. For each group the trials with different status are displayed in different colors, recruiting, terminated, suspended, completed. We have selected studies for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which are interventional type of studies and have a focus on safety and efficacy endpoints. For each of the studies, the system displays a unique identifier from clinicaltrials.gov and a short study description. The study description text is a hyperlink to the detailed clinical trial record which are complementary to the drug dashboard. Within the clinical trial page, the user can explore all the details reported to FDA. Due to the amount of the information, most of the fields are collapsed and should be expanded first in order to review their content. This includes the primary and secondary study outcomes. Study Population Selection Criteria and reported serious adverse events. Thus, the user is able to obtain a general picture of the clinical data reported and aggregated in the drug dashboard, but if required he can dive into the details of the particular clinical trials from which the data originates. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.